Hi everyone, David here from davidtomeaudio.com and in this video I want to show you how you can quickly and easily create an asset list for your sound pack using Basehead and Excel. Uh, so for those who may not be aware or may not know, Basehead is basically a sound library search engine or a sound and a sound library manager. So if you've heard of SoundMiner before, it basically does the same thing. Uh, you can import all your sound effects on your that's on your computer or on all your drives. It can be on various drives and combines them all into one place and then you can just search for them by category, you can search by description, by name, by uh, a whole bunch of different uh, metadata and then find the sound that you might be looking for. Okay, so before we jump in, uh, if you are a Soundpack library creator, I want to uh, give you a little free gift. It's basically my workshop and basically goes over exactly how to create two to $500 a month of passive income selling sound libraries online. So if you're interested in seeing that, put, I'll uh, put a link in the description below. So make sure to check that out. All right, let's jump in. I'll show you how you can create that asset list. All right, so this is Basehead. And uh, so you'll see here uh, in the middle, these are where all my files are. So right now this is it's just uh, organizing them all. Um, I don't even know how, it's not even alphabetical, but it's basically all of my sound files. If I wanted to go into like specific uh, imports that I've done before, so I could do like natural ambiences here. This is a little import that I did before, just three sounds, then I have them here. Or, you know, if I just wanna search all my sound effects, I can just go here and click like, water and then there you go i have all of my water sounds and they're not very well organized you'll see here they're not uh, organized by the universal category system it's something i'm starting to implement right now um but i'm not going to do that for this particular um tutorial so first thing i'm going to do though is i'm just going to import the sounds that i want so I, i'm just going to click here select the import and this is going to be uh, making a video about creating asset list i'm going to call it the asset list import and i'm just going to now go and find it on my computer and import it all right, so there you go. So I just have five sounds here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna press, uh, the hotkey here is, is F7, but if you click on here, you'll see it's called import export text file. So uh, this is it here. And what you'll wanna do is you'll wanna do export a .csv. So if you have a .csv, you can use Excel. I think you can also use Google Sheets if I'm not mistaken. I don't really use that, so that's why I leave it as is. Um, I, I leave it with Excel, I use Excel. And then, okay, so for field, I, I like to leave all fields and then I can click export and then it's just gonna save it back to the folder where I imported these files. All right, and as you can see here, uh, it saved it in the folder where I had it before. I mean, I chose where it went, but it basically uh, offers this option first. And now I have the CSV here. I can just open it with Excel. Here you go. And now I have all everything here. So I'm just gonna fill it out how I normally like to fill it out uh, right now. So I'm just gonna copy it here. So artists, I usually need my name. Category, these are just, um, I think they're different categories. So I'm gonna have to check on the file name for this. So here, these two are impact. The next two are, as you can see here, the whooshes or spell sound. So I might put like magic as the category. And this last one here is water. So I'm just gonna put water. So that's the water category. There you go, the rest, they leave the same. Here for copyright, I usually have my own copyright that I put in, and I'll show you guys what that looks like right now. All right, so the, for the copyright, I just put 2021 at David Dume Audio. Sometimes I'll put like the, the C with the, well, it's not really working, the copyright C, but I'll leave it like this for now, and that's fine. Okay, next is the description. I'm gonna leave that as is. Usually description and file name, I leave it as as is because I, I do it within basehead, so I don't put it on here. Um, next, let's do, let's do microphone. So here, I think I recorded, if I'm not mistaken, with um, the Lone UZ Pro, so I'm just gonna put Lone UZ Pro for all of these. Sometimes I might even put like, a, like the recorder that I use, like the Zoom F6. So if I did, I, I just put comma, Zoom, you know, F6, something like that. And maybe I'll just do that. Manufacturer, again, here you can just put your name, David Audio, for me, there you go. If it's part of a lib uh, of like a sound pack that you have, you can put it uh, in the library that it belongs to. I don't think these are part of any library, so I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, if you want, you can add notes. Normally I leave it blank though, not necessary. Originary should be base head, that's good. Uh, project here, I'll delete these. Don't need the project name. Um, Sync point here, this is like whenever you import it into your file library, um, like inside a base head, it, when it's gonna play, it's gonna start at a, a specific point, if I'm not mistaken, something like that, or it'll sync it to a specific point. And as you can see here, they are all synced to like different, I think these are milliseconds if I'm not mistaken. So they're synced at different places in the sound file. I like to have them all be at zero, so I just delete it, or you can just you know put it all zero, it doesn't matter. I just like to have it all at the start. And then, that's it, track title should all be stereo out. 
And that's pretty much it that I fill in. You might want to put in a subcategory if you wanted to. Uh, for these, you don't specifically need to, especially because it's such a small little sound pack. So I'm going to leave that as is. I'm just going to click Save now. I'm going to close this. And now uh, I'm just going to import it back in. So uh, before we did the export down here, now I'm just going to do Import. So I'm going to have to select the file first. Just to, to select the file, just click on the folder icon here. Click on Asset List. It's now uh, imported here. You can see assetlist.csv. You just click Import. You can see all files have been saved. And now I'm just gonna go back here and find it, it's up here. And then you can see all the changes we made should be here. So artist, you can see my name there, I put that in there. And let's see what else here, track title, yep. Copyright is there, manufacturer there, microphone there, everything's there. And now it's all saved and ready. So um, that's pretty much it. It's really quick, really fast, really easy to create these assets list sites like this. And next thing that I wanna show is I'm actually gonna open back up the Excel sheet that I have here. And what I'm gonna do is to create this asset list, I'm gonna just hide certain um, uh, parts that I don't want or don't need for the asset list. So right now I just generated everything, all of the metadata that I wanted, which is great. Next thing I'm gonna do now is hide, is actually print out a PDF of the asset list. So I'm just gonna uh, hide certain content here. So I'm just gonna click hide. Click hide. So I like to keep the artist name, that's good. The bit depth uh, category, you can or can don't really need it. I like to keep my copy right there. Um, like that, I'm gonna hide this. So I'm just gonna hide this. And I'll keep the file name, so I'll make sure it's like something like this, so that's good. All right, next uh, part that I'll want is the length. So I'm gonna hide everything in between here, good. Uh, library, I usually I would have this, so I'd have this available but for now, I'm just gonna hide it. Actually, it's it's kind of up to you because you know if, if someone's purchasing your sound pack or your sound library, they kind of already know what it is. You don't need to include it in here saying what the library is because they already <laughs> they're already purchasing it or interested in purchasing it. So uh, microphone's good to have. So I'm gonna leave that there. Next originator originator is bass head. It's also good to have, especially if you, if you have um, like professional sound designers or, or audio people buying your stuff. They might be looking specifically for bass head or might be looking specifically for a sound designer or a sound miner. Sorry. So you might want to. Um, I'll leave that there. So next, you don't need anything there. So 90, the sample rate, I'll leave that there because that's quite important for the quality of the sound. And I might include subcategory, but for this one, I don't need to because I didn't put anything there. So I'm gonna go all the way to the end here, hide that. Uh, and I'm gonna put that it's a stereo out. That's important that, that it's not mono. And the wave, that's also important. Obviously, you don't want something that's like MP3, though that should kind of already be understood. So there you go. So now I have this, this sheet, this Excel sheet, that is all the metadata that I want, that I need. And I'm just gonna, save this really quickly. And then what we're going to do is put it into a PDF. So I'm just going to go file and print. I'm going to choose here, print a PDF. And then what you'll notice here is as you look here, like um, everything's spread out over multiple pages and which looks really bad. So there's a, is a quick way to fix this. And the way to do that is you just go to the bottom option down here to no scaling and you want to put it uh, fit columns on one page. So make sure all the columns are on one page here. And there you go. So now everything's saved on one single page. And let's say you had like hundreds of the sound effects, everything would be listed here on this one single page. And uh, obviously if it's too big, then it'll go to the next page and that's that's totally fine. But the point is that all the columns are, are visible on one page, which is nice because now you can just see everything that you need to see here on one page. And if you need to go back, like right here, I can see the length is taking up a lot of space. Like it really doesn't need to be that much space. So I can go back here. I can fix that up. I can bring these in a bit. So I could fix it up a little bit the way I, I might want to, but that's pretty good. So I'm gonna just go back, print. Again, everything's in one column, perfect. And now I can just press save uh, and or press save as, and make sure it's going in the right folder. All right, so now we can just press print and it should be saving it. And uh, you'll be able to choose where you wanna save it. So I'm just gonna do that right now. And that's pretty much it. So now I'm just gonna open it up so you guys can see how I saved it. And there you have it. So this is now a PDF of basically my my sound pack that I have with all the categories that I want to see that I want to that I want visible for people to see exactly what it looks like. Uh, and again, you can add other metadata if you want. Like if you wanted the description to be added here, it could be a good thing to add uh, for this video. Didn't take the time to do it, but could could be something you want to do. So that's pretty much it. So uh, pretty quick, easy way to create an asset list uh, if you have Basehead and Excel.
All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys found that useful and valuable, especially if you are someone who creates sound packs or sound libraries or anything like that. And uh, yeah, just a reminder to pick up that 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 free workshop that I created. Uh, just I'll have a link in the description below. And if you guys have any questions, let me know. Uh, but I think that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.